Good afternoons and greetings to all active, progressive players from the Pirates. Yeah, we're happy for anyone to join. But this is how you do it, alright? This is the gameplay, but ultimately it's all about who is Unique Rebel. What is Unique Rebel's ideas and what is Unique Rebel's intentions for the game? The most amazing game. Yeah, for all those that be babies and more. Yeah, what's my real intentions behind my gameplay and what I'm doing and what I'm trying to preach and ultimately I was raised by my grandparents and I've acquired multiple types of knowledge and understandings that work well because as a person being part of how I feel as towards humanity ultimately I look at myself as an individual and that's how it's always been it's always been that way you see yeah the mic I have it connected to my device and it's right touching my beards so if you can hear anything crispy you know it's just my beards yeah, so the voice itself came when, I don't know, it just came in, there's, there's, there's an Origins video. There's an Origins video. You can check it out. And, uh, that's when I kind of got the idea of, this is not so good, let's look. Yeah, I just got, I just went for, I just tried something and it kind of worked. And uh, basically, uh, I kind of feel as if I personally, because, because of the knowledge I've acquired from my elders, I feel as if I uh, kind of uh, tapped into some sort of like, you know, beneficial type of knowledge, which uh, can just, just benefits me to speak. I can, I was a very, very quiet person. I've always been a very quiet person. But this that happened to me, like when I, when I came out with that voice, it just gave me kind of reason and direction. And I just thought, well... You know, it was just overwhelming, so I just kind of, you know, uh, you have to just go into it wholeheartedly. And and that's what it was. Uh, but my intentions towards the game itself. You know, I just want to give you all an enjoyment in gameplay in its purest forms. And I feel as if I've got things to give more than what the game has got to give. In a sense that I'll give it to you the way that I see it and at the same time I'll give you a bit more because I'll tell you something like just just simple Look, ultimately the ultimate success is with your family and whether I put it in a way where I say it towards gameplay but I mean it more and most important in real life but I'm not the kind to you know uh, Put my impose my ways on anybody, and it's, it's down to you ultimately in your free will. That's what it's all about. It's all about humanity. I'd rather be part of humanity. I feel as if, personally, as an individual, I'm more queen and country than anybody ever born. You know, it's like you know, we all are born under the day, it doesn't matter what kind of outfit we've got, you know, you know, it doesn't matter what level we're on, you know, we get a million dollar loan. You know, uh, uh, whatever, whatever. Ultimately, is is down to you know being part of humanity and and doing it for all those that be worthy. And and there's many out there. We all have different sides to us. We sometimes we get upset and we feel so bad about ourselves that we feel as if we're bad people, but we're really not. It's just that the pressures in life and the cars that we've been dealt with, we're only going according to those, and we don't need to beat down upon ourselves so harshly so we're not bad people all of us have goodness in us all of us we all have goodness in us every one of us everyone that's watching this video right now everyone that's not watching the video everyone that's logging into the games everyone that's farming you know my grandparents were farmers i've been to, i've been back i've been back to where they are i can't well, i can't call exactly back home because i live here in england so it's like to me, it's still because uh, my, my grandfather done things that normally normal people will never do. 
that's the truth, really, and that's why I'm going on about Grandpa Boom and and whatever is whatever, you know. And he did something, you know. If I tell you all about it, you would just be so amazed. If you really understood the concept behind the kind of things that you know the human body can endure, honestly, it's something to marvel about. And I've got so much to share with all of you. So I just want to give you all information that is so so important. I mean, like, I'll give you something right now, okay? This is the Easter egg of, of this video. And trust me, this is not planned. I'm, I want to tell you all about it right now, okay? If you all have youngs that are growing up, it comes to a point where you're, you know, they're getting, they're getting like they're 10, 12 years old, 14 years old. Different parts of the world are going to be slightly like acting slightly differently, okay? That's the way they evolve, yeah? They've got their own levels as they're, they're little legendary pirates, you know? So basically, I found I found a lot of things I look back at now in life. Where's the mic going? Oh my word, it's over here, sorry. I kind of quite appreciate what my parents did for me. Even all through the hardships that they, even the bad moments that happened in my life that I feel I may look back at. Look at it as a positive and believe me, you become the architect of your own life. That's what my videos are all about. And... Yeah, you know, I wish I would write things down. There's so much more, you know, I come up with and I could give to you all. And basically, my grandfather, I lived under his roof when I was homeless. And he put a desk in front of me and he just said to me to study. And this was when I first started college. Yeah, I was out of home. I had all types of pressures. But I still give respect to my parents because of the hardships they endured in life to get me to where I am today. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, he too would tell me not to, you know, uh, he would not, obviously uh, he would not be against me going out or anything like that. But he would say to me uh, to be home by a certain time. So that's a fair deal, you see. I'm allowed to go out, but I have to be home a certain time. So obviously, me being me, uh, I came home late. So he's locked the door. Well, the door is open, but the, there's, there's a chain at the back of the door, so obviously that's locked. So that means you've got to go back to where you came from, you know? So it's one of those things. So uh, so basically, I would go back to my friends, and and I'll stay there till the morning. I'm talking about like 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'll come home, and I'll be able to go straight to my bed and, and do whatever I would normally do. And then I'll wake up. This is where it is, okay, what I'm trying to tell you. I'd wake up to a breakfast in bed. Before I even get my head out of the bed from the covers, I'd see my grandfather, you know, coming with a breakfast of like, I'm talking about like three eggs, three toasts, you know, and a massive cup of tea, one that you can't finish easily, you know. And that was my breakfast. And I'd actually, basically, I'd, I'd forget everything that happened the night before. It's kind of like a reverse type of psychology. So if you've got little ones, young ones that are 10, 12, 14, 15, that are a bit difficult with handling, sometimes as a parent, this actually works. This is my magic. This is my Easter egg. This is Unique Rebels. Uh, believe me, this is knowledge that will come handy to you all. If I can't give this knowledge to my own family, I'm giving it to you all right now. Please, just just, just, just listen to me. Don't have to do what I said. Because in a way, you, something might happen to them and you would say like Unique Rebel told you, you see. There's a wisdom behind it that because... Many of our elders, we've never really had them around us. So we, you know, we never grew up around them. Or we weren't, we, you know, maybe we got married too early or something, you know. So we kind of moved on with life and whatever. And we never got to, this, this, this thing has come not from my grandfather, but from his parents, grandparents from before. And this is one of those things, it's basically life itself. You have to, you have to take each step in such a way where you're kind of, Everything that you do, even in the negatives, you're able to pull out a positive. If it takes six hours for your child to stay at their friend's house, come back in the morning, for them to wake up to a breakfast in bed, which then they'll forget about the day before, which will then allow them to become loyal. There's a reverse psychology that people nowadays, for this knowledge to come out to you with the most positive ways of understanding, what I'm trying to say in a good way, people are trying to sell this kind of knowledge, and I'm giving it to you for free. You know, so please try to understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything except 
I care for you all and I just feel as if that's the way I play my game. And I'm not trying to win any subscribers, I'd be honest here. Please, everyone, you know, who has subscribed, I love you all. I understand why you did it. You did it out of, like, understanding and kind of, like, loyalty and stuff. But I really don't need subscribers. I just want you all to view everything that I show. And then you can just enjoy the game. That's all it really is. Honestly, that's all I really care about. And, I mean, I do appreciate everyone that has subscribed. But it's not something that, you know, brings me the ultimate joy. My ultimate joy is within, you know, knowing that everyone is, you know, playing a fair game. Because I've put too much into this game to allow it to just go to dust and dirt. So that's why I try to push the idea of Midoki, Midoki. You gotta try to please help us with the stuff in the gameplay. I just, I'm just making a tantrum and noise. Just, I'd rather vent it towards something like this. So I was raised by my grandparents. Basically, let's move on. And uh, I've got things to give you all so much. I mean, like. I feel as if this is my first video. This is who Unique Rebel really is. Look, truth be said, people don't speak about themselves. I'm going to tell you straight. Uh, I was raised by my grandparents. My grandma passed away while I was... Basically, uh, anyone else would just do a crybaby video and just talk about these kind of things. I hit someone once and I regret it, obviously. And I never raised my hand at anyone after that. And, of course, you know committed a crime after that and it was my first offence and in this country Great Britain I know it's a, it's a history of piracy in this in this country but ultimately I was raised here and it was you know, my first offence and even though my name is may have characteristics of you know Arab names or Muslim names or whatever but as an individual you know because I'm born here I don't expect to be treated any better than anybody else except to have some sort of compassion towards a, a young person of the age of 18, 19. I basically, uh, you know, I I got my punishment for it. And uh, my grandma passed away. I wasn't able to be there for her funeral. And it was a first offence. And normally in this country, this Great Britain that I've, I was born in 43 years ago, they're meant to, you know, give you like a slap on the back of the wrist, like, you know? And so I took my punishment, and then it kind of scarred me. So, so here I am today. We just play the game, and you know, as being a shy person, uh, you know, I this is this is a cure of midnight raiders. Yeah, we're gonna flip the channel to another channel right now, but if. Yeah, it's all happening right now, like it always has to be happening, so we're going to make this happen, we're going to try to wake this one up, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing we can do with you right now, Midnight Raiders, because it seems like no one's watching my videos. Do you know what that means? This is the best video I've ever made, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe no one's... How could you... Oh my word, oh, do I have to become like Grandpa Boone from McDonald's or something, you know what I'm saying? Is this where he's going to start from? Is this, where it, is this what you want? You know what I'm saying? You've got to question yourself. Is this what you want? You really want Unique Rebel to, you know, just go to next levels on it. You know what I'm saying? You don't, don't trust me. You know what I'm saying? Let's not go there. Patash. Let's not go there. Yeah, I'm talking about Wind Raiders. You need to, uh, you know, make some space, create some space. You've got players that have been off for like 10, 12 days. If I look into your guild right now, I'm going to find so many players. Remove a few so that people like me and others like Corlius can come and visit. Why is no one passing the message to them? If anyone knows the Wind Raiders or can log into their website, put a message there telling them open up some space. Midoki, come on forums. No one's even talking on the forums. Why should I? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not saying why should I, but I'm going to carry on doing what I do most. I enjoy most. And I'm not working for you all, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm getting anything for making the video. I'm trying to get to 10,000 views. Yeah, it's all going in reverse gear. Now, listen. Yeah, wishing you all well, wherever it may be. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising. And gameplay. And more, most importantly, real life. Yeah, we're just enjoying a little rumble with the Barefoot Army. They've got a lot to give, you know what I'm saying? Look, if you look at the average, there is like one, two, one, two, eight. And already, 
they've scored like, you know what I'm saying? They've done it, doubling it up, like, you know what I'm saying? They're progressing, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's always been about. Those that be worthy. Yeah, we're getting on with the gameplay. I don't mean to drag these videos on. I'm just showing you what I do. I just showed you a five streak. You know what I'm saying? Just getting on with it. Yeah, we're getting on with the events. The events is doable. Anyone can do it. Yeah, I'm just, my videos are just about showing you what's possible in the game. So, nothing more. Nothing less. Yeah, there's always a lot going on, a lot going out, a lot going in, a lot going on. We're just trying to make a low look. All I try to work towards, because I've got a very low PR, 691. I like to stick to 8, 900. That's where I get my good points. So my average is 32. Scored like 38. So that's more or less decent and reasonable. Yeah, it's all, uh, you know, it's all good. Yeah, I'm going to go over to... Uh, See some friends, family, help some perks and come back sort of thing. That's what I enjoy doing, it's just part of my gameplay. You you're you know, you're you're all out there, you're allowed to create your own gameplay, you know, the way you enjoy it the most. That's what I enjoy the most. I just see if I've got I mean look at my gold. Come on. If I can go to another guild, just give just give a little bit of gold there. And what damage is gonna do to me? You know, I'm just sitting there doing nothing anyway, you know. Yeah, nice little six gems here. Let me show you what this is my gameplay. This is what me enjoy the most. This is what it's all about being nice to others. Look, I got fifteen here once, you know, that's all I'm trying to get. I wanna do it for the video for once. I just cause it's been I did it once and it was fifteen. I couldn't believe my eyes. So I was like, Oh my word, why didn't I have that recording? You know, because you can't it's one of those things you can't really calculate it beforehand, you know, it's one of those things. Oh, nice, two gems, lovely jubblies. That's what I'm talking about. Just keep the ship going. You can get gems every single day. You get EP, BP, whatever. Just for bombers, lots of bombers and wish doctors. Time your, like, shield, plan it. Meaning, planning means just whenever you're about to go off. Expect to get hit so you know, you know, there's, you know, you've got 10, 12 hours to just relax, sleep, whatever. There's ways to benefit while you're awake and asleep. This is, this is what I was going to come out with, Grant. Grandpa Badoof. Yeah, but I'll give it to you like earlier anyway. Listen. You got you have to work towards the four builders. Okay? This is for the new players. All the new players and the ones that are thinking of playing this game. The ones that are newly coming to this game. You know, if you're thinking of playing this game, just work towards the four builders. Create your guild ship so other players can help you with max level troops. Then, like, you know, the, pe the people that I've been playing for, like, years, they can give you troops that are so much more stronger in your guild ship, and it resets after every 10, 15 minutes. Why have you got to lose? Do you understand what I'm saying? So just go for it. Just get the guild ship up first. Yeah, when you start upgrades, just get the guild ship. And then after that, work towards your four builders. Get a good guild that understands that you're trying to work towards... You know, the fish and chips, you know. Yeah, and you should be fine. And uh, there are many gills about. And also keep your rocky outcrops. When I say rocky outcrops, I'll try to show you what I mean by that. I can show you my flamingos account. It probably, his island's probably blown away. Look, look, I'm just guessing it, you know what I'm saying. Can you see these rocky outcrops? Keep as many as you can. and Because they play about with the... Uh, thinking of the AI so the players are attacking you in Thunderstruck if they attack you from close to here like Sky Raiders they could fall into the water you know it depends what way the flag is going towards so it's like there's so many things that the troops have to walk around and they can't go through them so there's little strategic points where you can keep them and it comes handy to you so just an idea for the new players the ones that are thinking of playing the game this is the kind of things that you can do and this person here this player here Nordic Darkness I met this person when they first started a few days into piracy and I guided them straight away and you can see what players they've used, how many troops they've used and believe it or not I'm really really proud and I really am and I'm grateful to 
Barefoot Army for keep them allowing players like this to enter. They lower their PR for players. And just be understand, you don't know who the next unique rebel is gonna be, you know, or Han Solo or Alan Lee or Julian or you know, Crazy or Lamar or One Hundred or Jackie, you know, uh we'll call Puppy, I think it was. Um there were so many there's Master Pina, you know, this this the run Patron whether it's he miser, whether it's Drawn Princess, whether it's you know Cutthroat Christie, I'm saying all these names out of respect. Yeah? All these names I say is all just out of respect. Look, when you look into this island, you see that one there has been tra uh, upgraded. This one's going up as well. There's two. And you see the third there. So there's three going. And the fourth one is for your walls. Yeah? This is the perfect video for all those that be worthy. If you're watching this, you've, you know, you'll be fine. From here on. Yeah, this person needs GGs. I don't like to use me gems, but ultimately, if you're playing for those that be worthy, you support all those that need it the most, you know. So you just get on with it. You find a way to use less gems to recruit. You tap one down. You just go for it. You can wait for the next one anyway. It's not going to be the end of the world. And you just carry on. Keep supporting all those that be worthy. You keep it. You don't just. Don't hold back. In this game, don't hold back. Just, just keep pushing forward and you'll be fine. And be, uh, you need to be around a guild that's going to encourage and trade away. So, yeah, so if you ever see me in a guild saying it's a training guild and dedicated to my children or whatever, a monkey monkey, just come join. I'll show you the ropes. You know, Grandpa Boom will be there waiting. Yeah, make things happen. And what we can do is then, we can keep some ideas within the guild, you know? Yeah, for those that be worthy. And the ideas I give out, like, right now this video is for all those out there that be worthy. You know, we've got family across gameplay, across YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, you know, YouTube knows which countries we all are in. And they know which kind of, like, uh, when we want to go on to, a, you know, subtitles, they know which the language that we speak. And if, they go, if they're viewing all our videos, what we're watching, they've got all these analytics going on. Why can't they just give us uh, subtitles that are according to our languages so we can understand what other languages are saying, you understand? Be international. YouTube needs to be international. That's the, another Easter egg, you know. I'm telling you, there's so many... As a person, you have to keep evolving. If you allow that little box to get the best of you, one way that box is going to say to you, yeah, uh, justify why we go war. And then the same box is going to tell you, no, 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 we made a mistake. So please... Do what you feel is right within your hearts, your minds, and your spirits. Wishing you well, wherever you may be. Keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising, keep praying moments with those that be worthy in gameplay, and more, most importantly, that I believe in real life. Fatash.